In the previous video, we formulated a linear probing model for our staff scheduling problem. Over here in this video, we are going to use Excel Solver once again to solve for the optimal solution and see how much it's going to cost the university. Here's how I'm going to organize the information and data for this staff scheduling problem. In this matrix highlighted in yellow, I'm going to keep all our decision variables. They are E11, E12, all the way to E26. In C column, we have F11 all the way to F26. In row 22, we have the unit cost. $77 is the unit cost for each A hour shift staff member. $39 is the unit cost for one four hour shift staff member. And in E column, we have the minimum number of staff members we are going to need in each time interval. Now let's see how we are going to formulate our objective function, the total employment cost. It's going to be in cell B23, highlighted in blue. It's going to be equal to 79 times the sum of E11 all the way to E26 plus 39 times the sum of F11 all the way to F26. And that's our total employment cost. All right, what about the constraints? The only constraint that really matter is the minimum number of staff members we need at each time interval. So we need to figure out the actual number of staff members on duty at each time interval. How many staff members we have on duty on day one in time interval one? It is, if you will recall, E11 plus E26 plus F11. It's going to be equal to E11, which is in cell B10, plus E26, which is in cell B21, and then plus F11. The number of four hour people who started at midnight of day one. And that is in cell C10. That's it. Okay. What about the actual number of staff members on duty on day one in time interval two? It is going to be equal to the sum of E12, the number of eight hour people who start their shift at 4 a.m. plus the number of eight hour people who started their shift at midnight four hours earlier and the number of four hour people who started at 4 a.m. That's it. And now I can copy and paste the formula for the remaining ones. Okay, it's time for solver. Data solver objective is in cell B23 our total cost, which we would like to minimize. Decision variables are in this 12 by 2 matrix from cell B10 to cell C21. Constraints. The actual number of staff members on duty gotta be greater than or equal to the minimum number of people needed. That's pretty much it. Of course, there's a negative constraint, which is taken care of by checking this box. And we're going to use simplex method. 
That's it. Let's go ahead and solve it. Let's keep the solver solution and take a look. Okay, what do we see? It looks like on day one, in time interval one, all those three needed step members are on an eight hour shift, which started at midnight, and so on and so forth. What do we find? We find essentially a perfect match. The actual number of staff members on duty is, in this case, always equal to the minimum number of staff members needed on that day in that time interval. As a result, we have a total cost of $5,666. That's the best we can possibly do given the uh, constraint we face.